Hi everyone, welcome to my video. You watching Create VFX YouTube channel. This is my first video. In this video we are going to create a virtual environment with Adobe After Effects motion graphic creating software. Ok. Now this is the video we are going to create. Boom. This is so amazing right? First we have to create some layers to make this environment. Those are some example of those layers. Now first open Adobe After Effect, and create a new composition. I take 1080p resolution. The preset is HDTV 1080p 25. Ok now import files. By the way, all those files are using in this video links in the description below. First drag the image to the timeline and create a new solid above it. Then go to the effect panel and search for CC particle world. Apply this effect to the new solid. This is going to be our first layer. Now change the preset values one by one, as I am showing. This is it look like. Ok now search for the glow effect, and apply it to our first layer. Change glow radius to, 220. Check this to enable motion blur. Change, glow threshold value to, 70%. Now press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the glow effect. I am changing the color of the particles little bit, for looking more realistic. Also changing some glow values for my comfort. Ok now this is looking good to me, select the layer and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate it. Make some changes to the CC particles world preset.
delete all the glow effects, and make some changes to the CC particles world preset. Change the color, and make the layer opacity to 30%. This is look good to me. Let's go, create the third layer. First make a new solid and named it, light. Then search for lens flare effect and drag it to our layer. Select 105mm prime lens type. Then drag this point down to a better position. Make a tint color overlay and colored it like this. Now add some glow effect. Increase flare brightness, change glow threshold value, and radius. Finally make the blending mode to, add, place this layer at the top, ok, now select this layer and duplicate it. Delete one glow effect and change the birth rate to 0.1 Velocity to 0.06 Gravity to minus 0.100 And the birth size to 0.060 Enable this motion blur toggle. Good, now this is like a fire particles. Let's import the logo you want to draw. Note that, the image should be in PNG format with transparent background type. Drag the logo, two times to the timeline. Select this three image and right click on it, pre-compose, check the second option and hit OK. Open the composition with double click and pre-compose the first image. Now go to effect and preset panel and search for fractal noise effect. Apply it to the first image. Select the image, peek the pen tool and draw a mask like this. Then go here and switch this to subtract. Change this to value. Go to effect panel, search for brightness and contrast effect and apply it. Change this to value. Change the blending mode to divide. Now open this first composition, open the transform property of the image and make some changes of some values. Take the pen tool and draw a mask like this. The change some mask values. Then enable the second logo image and change those values one by one.
draw in another mask on this image. Then add a tint effect. And switch mask layer to, subtract. Change the color to red, and opacity to 15%. This is our main composition. It's now looking good, right? Now import the final layer, the fire effect. Switch its blending mode to lighten. Take it to a best position. and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the layer and create some combination like this. Now select He Logo Composition and give it a glow effect and change the glow operation to Luminosity. Change this to value. Now the last work of this video is to animate the light layer. To do this carefully follow my steps.